that you got thrown across you. And uh, I just wanted to know what it is like playing guard and center and kind of cross-functioning, cross-training at both those positions. Obviously, you did that with San Francisco. Yeah, yeah. And I feel like it's a natural position for you because with some people, they really can't leverage or understand leverage and technique from one, from one side to the left. Can you just talk about the Sleeman's transition for you? Um, yeah, it's all about doing as much as you can do to help this team and help make this team, right? And um, and I'm at that point of career, in my career where I try to do whatever I can to, to just tune in on my, you know, um, the details of both positions and do whatever I can to, to see the field or make the team. So you talk about, Coach talks a lot about attention to detail, right? Yeah. Being fundamentally sound when it comes to like leverage. Yeah. So leverage is a huge key. Yeah. When we got to college, one of the things was some scouts were concerned whether yeah. you, were, you didn't have the body type yeah. or, right? But you kind of silenced those doubters. Yeah. Where does that power come from? Yeah, just, I mean, yeah, just seeing the old, uh, older guys when I first got in the league, like, yeah, I was undersized coming out of college. I knew that, but that always, that just motivated me to um, to prove everybody wrong. And, um, you know, you could have said I was labeled as a, as a bust because I was the third round pick in Chicago, but I'm going on year eight. And uh, thank God for all the people that were around me that still believed in me. To, Help me, you know, the nutritionist, just getting me to gain weight, the, the weight room guys, the strength and condition, strength and condition coaches, and um, just like toning in on the details of, you know, building my body into an uh, NFL offensive lineman so it could withstand a long career. So you talk about nutrition, I'm a bodybuilder. I want to know yeah, what you eat. you look eat. Jack, bro. <laughs> bro, I, I need to know what you eat. So if I had to take a guess, you're eating oatmeal? Yeah. Almond butter? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. A lot of uh, asparagus? A lot of asparagus, broccoli. broccoli. There we go. Yeah, a lot okay. of a lot of chicken, a lot of pasta, a lot of shakes, a lot of smoothies. Um, one of my favorite snacks is uh, acai bowls, but like not the ones that have a lot of sugar in it. The ones that are just more almond milk, almond milk or coconut milk based. So um, I just try to live in the weight room. And now I'm at I'm a little older now, uh, so I do a lot of strength training stuff, but a lot of yoga uh, to keep me flexible and. Um, I'm feeling good. So, yeah. so functional strength. Yes. With the yoga. One thing when people gain weight, whether it be 10, 15 pounds, is they lose that speed, they lose that lateral yeah. agility and quickness. It seems like you kind of fine-tuned that being a veteran yeah. and you didn't compromise that. Yeah, that's why it took a long time to get to this point. I weigh 313 pounds now. Um, Dang. So I try to do it the right way. So I knew it was gonna take some time. I kept believing in it. I trust the process and I did it slowly and to keep my speed. So, uh, so just thank you to all the guy, everyone that told me. All right, well, thank you so much, man.